I don't really know what he's like on the uh, on the touchline and what he's like in the dressing room as a, a character. So far, I, I find him a really, really nice man. He's been excellent with everybody. Here's a chance for uh, Putin to come forward. It's a testing cross into the box, and the shot comes in, and Yorl have a lead. And the first shot in anger with less than three minutes on the clock, and Yorl take the early lead here. I'm not sure who it is. It might be Lawson Dath who scores the goal. But Yorval are in front with just over two minutes on the clock. And uh, he's either got to play advantage or he's got to bring it back and book him. Player taken short for Mafuta. Mafuta drills it forward. And it might break kindly here. There's a chance for Houlihan right side, inside for James. James right side of the box, drills it in. It's in! Paul's level it! Five and a half minutes on the clock and Luke James scores! He drills it across the goalkeeper and into the back of the net and pulls on level terms here in a flash. Clinical finishing. It was a bit lucky in the build-up perhaps, but Pools have got themselves on level terms within three minutes of falling behind. What a response from Dave Challoner's side. Nelson plays it out on the near side for Collins now. Collins looks across to the left-hand side and it's played forward down the line for Hippolyte. Inside it goes now and Lawson Darth, the Yeovil scorer, swings it forward and there's a bit of space here for Smith and his ball in and it's wide of the target. Reese Murphy got there but he couldn't direct it into the corner of the net but it was a decent effort. Yeovil trying to encroach on this corner here. Pools want them to move back. Featherstone's across to try and take a short one and uh, switch, switch the angle a little bit for Ryan Donaldson. Instead, they've worked it out. The hitching on the left corner of the 18-yard box, and he whips one in the middle, and the header down is... Oh, that was almost spilt by Nelson there. It was uh, Gus Mafuta who got his head to the ball in the middle, but Nelson right behind it in the end to just about deal with it, and he rolls it out now for Charlie Lee, who can carry the ball over the halfway line, and this is a nice ball left-hand side. Miles Hippolyte trying to get four. He's around the defender there and he gets to the byline. He's looking to try and cross. He pips it in there. And the header. Oh, what a save! It's a fine save from Ben Killup there. Who was it who got in at the far post? I'm not sure. Was it Dagnall? But it was a wonderful save. He got the ball was whipped into the far post. Uh, Travis Lakin says, how many Pools fans have we got there? I'm not absolutely sure. We can't see them. Well, I can't see all of them from here. The direct way to the right-hand side of me in this same stand. Uh, we'll come back in a second because Killip's just absolutely whacked a ball towards Kitchen. Is he going to keep it in? He has, you know. He's done really well next to the left-wing corner flag. And he gives it back to Houlihan. Featherston bursts into the box. Houlihan crosses it in there. James back to goal. Might fall for James here. He runs across the edge of the box looking for an angle for a shot. Donaldson's there as well. Kioso arriving. Kioso just couldn't take it in his stride, but he gives it back to Donaldson. And now Donaldson on the halfway line for Reigns. Reigns works it across the near side. I would, hesit I would, I would go as far as say Pulza edging this at the moment. That's a nice looking ball towards James. James with a lovely first touch. Nelson's off his line. Back inside for Houlihan. It's 2-1. What a brilliant goal. Gavin Houlihan scores. Luke James did ever so well. Fraser Kerr's ball over the top was helpful as well. But what a brilliant goal. And Gavin Houlihan keeps on scoring. And pulls lead here at Hewish Park. Having been 1-0 down. 20 minutes on the clock. And Gavin Houlihan scores a fine goal. He's finished it so well. But he, uh, he, <laughs> he did in uh, Ben Killip, fair clear to him. He did extremely well to, uh, to keep that one from causing any distress. Kabamba blocks the cross on the near side as Yorval recycle player down the right. It's going to be a long throw this time, though. Lee hurls it into the front post. It's headed away by Houlihan. Kabamba facing his own goal kick line. He takes it on the chest and runs back towards it and clears it away. Only as far as Hutton, though. And now Charlie Lee. Lee's low cross is cut out by Featherston. And this is where pools look dangerous. It's very similar in pattern to the Nuts County game so far here. And look at 
the space for Kitchen here if Donaldson can find him. There might be a chance here for Post to really rub salt in his Kitchen 25 yards out here. Blazer through for James. He turns. Oh, he just couldn't get through. And Featherston charges down the next clearance, but Yorval are rocking here. And it's cleared away. Great challenge by Kerr. The ball stays in down the right hand side. Featherston challenging for it, but it's hooked clear and it's out of play for a throw in. Oh, Luke James was within here. An ankle width there of getting past the defender. And in, go- in on goal for his second of the night. Left wing corner for Pools. Featherston and Donaldson are over it. Looks like Featherston's going to put the ball in the middle. And Pools profit further. He's given it short to Donaldson, in fact. And there's more space for Kitchen, who's been unmarked again. Kitchen whips a lovely ball in the head. It's out. It's just wide from Reigns. Oh, Pools only a yard away from scoring again. Kitchen's ball was absolutely delicious. Uh, Neil Douglas saying he's heard about 40 Pools fans yet. Well, can Pools give them something extra to cheer about here because there's another opportunity. It's a free kick on the right corner of the 18-yard box. 26 and a half minutes on the clock here. Kitching, and perhaps the favourite to, to whip this one in, uh, in swinger with his left foot. Featherston's over it as well on the far side, though. Yorval fans hold their breath. Kitchen chips it into the box. Kabamba! Oh, it's wide! What a chance! Oh, Nicky Kabamba! Oh, it was such a golden opportunity. And he can't convert. He just didn't get enough on it. It's out to play for a Yorval throw on the far side. Pullian Spain says we sound good. We've been a handful. Oh, Kios just flung himself at that ball. <laughs> and the, he could have got clattered there as he went for the header, but he didn't seem to mind. He just flung himself at the header and it went back towards the left back position. And now he's in, a, in again there, Peter Kioso. Featherston cleverly evades a bit of traffic and Mafuta plays at left hand side. Kitching has to collect that one. It was slightly behind him, but he gives it back to Kerr. And Kerr, oh, clever. Spins 360 and finds Mafuta. And Mafuta inside for Featherston. It was a difficult ball to control, and Featherston was under pressure immediately. And now suddenly there's a chance for Murphy down the left hand side. Wonderful save by Killip. And Kioso gets there to, hit it, to get it further clear. It's not fully away though. It's Worthington on the near side. And now Hutton comes to join the attack. Hutton's deep cross into the far post. Reigns gets enough on it to head it away. And Featherston very calmly knocks it across to Donaldson. But that was a big chance. Reese Murphy got away down the middle. He also with the uh, throw then. Up the line it goes towards Kabamba. Drops down at the feet of Diath. His goal seems such a long time ago. As the ball goes over the top, Luke James is offside there. The flag stays down though. I tell you what, he was offside, but the ball comes across to Kitchen now, and Pools might be able to profit here. Kitchen looking to take on his man, he tries to go down the outside, then he cuts back for Featherston. Featherston just uh, moves away from goal, and now has to try and sneak it through a gap for James. James under pressure, but does really well to hold on to the ball. Featherston left hand side now, infield for Kitchen. Kitchen plays it, trying to throw through a gap there, and he might fall for Featherston here. Featherston gets there ahead of Nelson. He comes back to the left hand side, gives it to Kitching. Terrible defending by Yorval. The ball comes back into the box. Kabamba trying to force a way through and it's blocked wide. Terrible defending by Yorval to give Pools the chance there. Kitching will take the throw in again down this near side. Featherston makes a move off the shoulder of his man and gives it to Kitching. Yeah, get cuts it from Kitching, so that's it. Here's Houlihan who'll turn right hand side. That's a nice ball for Kioso in space. Donaldson's made the run in behind, but he, oh, he has found him because Hippolyte's missed it. And James and Kabamba in the middle, if he can pick him out, he can't! Do you believe it? It's gone flashing across goal. And Kabamba couldn't get anything on it. Pools have had so many chances. And they haven't been able to put the ball in the back of the net for that killer third goal. What will happen next? Ball forward towards the edge of the pool's box. And it's played forward into the feet of Dagnall. Dagnall trying to drill it across goal, and it's all the way across goal. And it's gone behind for a goal kick. Um, 
Chris Hackworth joined us as Howie Pools as the ball is floated into the box. Nobody in green near that one though, and Featherston can get it clear. Donaldson helps them on its way. But you are pinning Pools back a little bit here. It's a right on side now with Hutton. In in a really advanced position. Houlihan though gets his foot in, but it rolls kindly for Hutton. Hutton clips across into the box. Mafuta gets it clear. Donaldson chases down there with Worthington. Just nudges him, but it might break clear here for James, and it does. And James can carry Pools forward here. Can he pick a pass? He's got Donaldson with him. Featherston's trying to keep up, and then it breaks fight, fight kindly on the left hand side. Featherston, he's inside the penalty area. Can he find the angle for a shot? He tees up Donaldson. His shot straight at the goalkeeper, though. Ryan Donaldson with the end shot. And uh, Luke Williams gets his high fives from uh, the coaching staff on the far side, and Pools are going to make a change imminently here. I wonder who it is who's coming off. Here's Hippolyte now on this near side. Not uh, a chance to take the make the change yet. Kerr, good win in the air, but it falls for Murphy. Volleys over the bar. Ball forward by Killip. Good win in the air by Kabamba, but James couldn't get there ahead of Hippolyte, who swipes it clear. Kiyoso's ball forward, pushed into the. Oh, it's a good turn. Mafuta has to show good strength to get back in position, but Yorval counter attack, and then it's a good piece of uh, intercepting play. He read the game well there, Fraser Kerr, and the ball up towards James. Now Williams, bit of space inside there for Featherston. <coughs> Featherston across on the right hand side for Donaldson who's got a bit of his time here if he can get the ball he tees it up for Kioso who'll cross Kioso's cross is re inviting Kabamba! It's 3-1! Pools have got it further in front Kioso's cross it's perfect! Kabamba's header clinical and Pools are 3-1 in front here on 59 minutes Foot are trying to intercept there, but it's fallen for Lee, and Lee clips one over the top. But that should be uh, easy for Reigns to clear away, and indeed it is. James trying to keep the ball on the halfway line, but it's uh, gone across to the right hand side now. And Kitchen can't keep hold of the ball. That's a lovely pass forward, and the oval on the attack again here, and the shot straight at Killip. It was good play. I think they've made two subs there, I didn't spot another one, but James Tilly has come on as well, hasn't he? James Tilly turned into space there. But he couldn't find a way past Ben Killip. Ball falls loose on the left-hand side, and James now cuts back on his right foot, he's inside the area, he clips it in the middle, Donaldson arriving, Donaldson trying to get it in there, save, Kabamba trying to get it, oh, what a melee in the box, and it won't go in, and look, Yorval riding their look a little bit there, Fraser Kerr now, sneaks the ball through for Williams on the turn, Williams caught in possession though on the halfway line now, and Williams has to try and track back, because the Yorval substitute is there, uh, Carrying the ball forward there, James Tilly on the right hand side now is Hutton, his cross! Oh, and it's just looped over the bar there. It was a touch by Ben Killip that sent it there. It was a cross, I'm certain of it, from Romeo Hutton, but uh, it almost looped into the far corner of the net, and Ben Killip had to react very quickly. Uh, Paul Lynch says, not being nervous, but how long has gone? Well, yeah, you probably just heard it's just 65 and a half minutes on the clock ball bounces down kindly there almost for Kabamba now it's uh, Duffus on this near side inside for Collins Collins goes long Reigns backs off and heads it clear but trying to find Kioso and he only found Diath here and he's going to try and turn inside away from Featherston ball in field it's nice play and Charlie Lee trying to run through a gap it might fall loose it does but it's hammered over the crossbar Courtney Duffus with the chance there it's collected on the near side by Murphy and he gives it back to Hippolyte 
he crosses the halfway line now with it and drilled it across the far side but Kitching gets there first and knocks it down for James and James trying to get away oh what a challenge that is and I think he's already been booked as uh, Luke Wilkinson has he and it's a second yellow card for Luke Wilkinson and Yorval are down to 10 men Luke Wilkinson walked like a cricketer who's edged the ball behind he knew what was coming and Luke Wilkinson is sent off for Yorval and Yorval are down to 10 men Ian says good job we're not short of midfielders and up the pool says Goats need a rest <laughs> ball comes in from the corner great attack in there by uh, Reigns to get it clear Goats clever play by Tilly though but the, the driven shot held by Killip Lee moves it across to the right hand side it's chipped up the line flicked on towards Murphy Liver clips, clip round the corner there and it's come back for Murphy oh would you believe it from underneath the crossbar it's put over the top I have no idea how he managed to do that Murphy drilled it across and uh, D Duffus was there and he somehow managed to put the ball over the bar I don't know how he did it it was harder to, to do what he did than, than, <laughs> than find the net Ashley says Williams has been quiet. Yeah, he has, but I tell you what, he has worked hard for the team. Don't get us wrong, he's he's got that bit of quality and you know, maybe you get to forgive him sometimes for just uh, wanting to show that. Here he will show that, by the way. He's bounced onto the ball in loads of space and he frees the ball through and this time Toure is on onside and a real chance to wrap it up here. Toure goes round the keeper and is brought down and Nelson has given away a penalty. It's a penalty to Pools here and a real chance to wrap it up. And Jimmy Toure is the man who is going to try and put the ball into the net now well big drama here Pools have a real chance to sort this FA Cup tie less than five minutes left on the clock Jimmy Toure has the ball at his feet back in the side tonight after an operation on his hand has kept him out for a fortnight he strides up to the ball and plants it into the net and pulls a 4-1 up and Yorval Town fans are streaming for the exits Pools are bound for round two of the FA Cup it's taken two mammoth journeys but Pools now firmly on the road to round two what a night for Dave Challoner and his side his first game in charge could hardly have gone better Killip dangles one forward towards Toure and Williams Williams brilliantly plucks it out the sky and clips it inside and gets it back from Featherston and runs towards the edge of the goal Williams trying to add gloss here it won't it falls from Mafuta now for Donaldson Donaldson on the edge of the box trying to get it on his right foot he gives it back to Mafuta Mafuta drills it across but it's cleared away by Yorval who are really on the ropes now they want the final whistle it's a shank clearance and Featherston moves it back forward for James he turns tries to get in the box but it ricochets into the arms of the grateful Nelson